Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Nick Sabanero. I'm one of the developers and co-founders of the Divi project. I just wanted to take a few minutes today to run through the functionality and inner workings of our new master note calculator. It's important to keep in mind that this is just a high-level overview. And if you'd like more in-depth information about the formula used to find the numeric values in the table, please refer to the GitHub link in the description of this video. I think it's also necessary to mention that these numbers are hypothetical. Once the blockchain is live and everyone is running their nodes, we'll have a much more accurate depiction of what the network actually looks like. So let's get started. At the top of the page here, there's a field which represents the number of Divi minted per year. Currently, the default is set at 6,570,000. Um, we chose this as our default because it is the number of tokens that would be generated by our protocol every minute over the course of a year. Um, every minute, 12 and a half Divi are generated, but this is subject to change via the governance system. For that reason, we made it editable. Uh, so let's try editing it, and let's make it 8 million. And as you can see, the number of rewards and coins changes, as well as the reward in USD. And we'll get more into how that's calculated in a moment. Um, for now, I'm going to refresh the page so we can move forward. So the next thing is the slider that shows the current Divi price in USD based on current market value. And that value is pulled directly from the CoinMarketCap API. You can move this slider up and down, and you'll see that the reward value changes. Currently, we are only supporting USD on this table. Now on the left hand side here we have the masternode level. Each level, as some of you probably know, has a linearly increased chance to earn a block and earns a 5% bonus over the previous tier. What this basically means is that the silver tier is about three times more likely to earn a block than the copper and will earn 5% more divvy. The gold would be 11 times more likely and earn 10% more divvy than the copper, and so on and so forth up the tiers. The next column is the number of nodes. Currently, we actually are pulling this information directly from our Ethereum node, which searches the network for people holding DIVX and then breaks them into their tier based on how much DIVX they're holding. Um, this does mean that if someone is holding 31,000 DIVX, they're automatically grouped into the platinum tier. This is important to note because someone with 31,000 DIVX might run a platinum node, but also a copper node as well. And for this reason, each of these values is completely editable, so you can play around with the different combinations and see how the rewards change. So I can change platinum to 45, and diamond to 12, or what have you, and you'll see that the, the rewards change based on um, the changes you make in these fields. Okay, so the next thing we have is the yearly reward in fiat. Again, we're just currently supporting USD. The amount is determined by multiplying the price per divi by the reward in coins yearly, which is the next column we're going to talk about. So the reward in coins yearly section shows how many coins each tier will generate based on their bonus structure. The next field, uh, or column I should say, is the current cost in USD. Uh, again, this is pulled directly from coin market cap and then multiplied by the number of coins required for each masternode tier, uh, which is the next column. And the current, so the current cost in Divi is, of course, the number of Divi required uh, to own the masternode level in question. So underneath the table, we have the reward split um, for, the, for the nodes. This percentage right now is set at 45%. This means that 45% of the rewards would go to the master node holders, while the other 45% go to stakers, uh, and then the other 10% are reserved for the treasury and um, philanthropic causes. So uh, the algorithm we use does its best to keep the percentage balanced, but there will be times where the rewards are more heavily weighted in one direction or the other. 
Uh, so for this reason, you can change the number to see how the rewards might change based on what the algorithm is doing at any given time. So let's try changing it to 60% in favor of the master nodes. You can see that all the rewards change and the total number of coins allocated for the master nodes um, increases in this case. So that's about it for the calculator. Um, I encourage you to play around with it as much as you want and try all the different combinations of numbers. And um, if you want to know sort of more about what master nodes do, of course you can check out the video on the page or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. And if you want to see the source code behind the calculator, it's completely open source and viewable on GitHub via the link in the description or the link um, on the master node calculator page. So I hope that gives you a good explanation and breakdown of our Divi master node reward master node rewards calculator. Uh, for now, I'm Nick Sapinero, and I will see you guys next time.